This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the best place for you to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that specific code card to complete your deck or just to open up some packs, they have it all. From Darkness Ablaze, Champions Pads, you name it. Look at the huge variety that they offer. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. And this is for European players to purchase and sell cards all across Europe. And uh, they have lots of good stuff on here. You can uh, actually uh, open up an account and start selling yourself or buy a fantastic amount of products from people all across Europe. So definitely check out both of my sponsors, PotownStore.com as well as Card Market. And as a little addition, if you go to Potown Store, you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. So definitely do so, you'll help me out a ton. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today it's time for us to be playing with Raidon Mill. You heard me right, this is a deck that actually got quite a high score at the Hexer TCG tournament lately. So Raidon is all about the dirty works, discard the top card of your deck. If you play Giovanni's Exile from your hand during this turn, discard the top 5 cards instead. It's actually from the opponent's deck, so not from your deck. We're gonna try to mill the opponent out and with Giovanni's Exile we can actually discard up to 2 bench Pokemon that we have on the bench so you can easily resort just discarding your Dedenis because you're gonna go very crazy with Dedenis. You're gonna disrupt the opponent with uh, none other than Yellhorn to just put them in a confusion stages. And we also have Lieutenant Surge to be able to use that and uh, spam two supporters at once. So you can use uh, the Giovanni's Exile twice. If you use it twice, I don't know if it uh, matters here. Uh, yeah, you just. If you play Giovanni's Exile from your hand during this turn, just 5 cards. Yeah, it uh, doesn't matter, but Lieutenant Surge will allow you to just use something like Boss's Orders and a Giovanni's Exile at the same time, or just a classic Marnie to put the opponent to a low hand size so they will not have an answer against you. You can also rely on Curse Shovel. That means if your right on eventually goes down, you discard the 7 cards instead. And uh, you also have the Alolan Muck here being able to discard the item cards, as we've seen before with Toxtricity Mill. So, very interesting deck, nevertheless. Lily's Pokédoll helps you in the early phase of the game. You can just promote that and just uh yeah wall it out for a little bit and then afterwards you can go with your right on you do have scoop up nuts so you can get your fellas out of the active position but the giovanni's exile also make sure you can get rid of your two prize pokemon so they will have to go through a ton of right ons here we also have the lana's fishing rod over ordinary rod because you can get back a pokemon as well as a tool card and that means uh, you will need like a rhyhorn and curse shovel or a right on and curse shovel depending on the situation you also have mewtwo in here with the mind report because we also run scoop up net that means we can uh, use the giovanni's exile so you want to use that almost every turn and draw with your pokemon in the sense of the danny and crobat without any downsides because uh, giovanni's exile will get rid of those on the bench instantly so we'll see what this deck has to bring I cannot promise you guys that we will win, but it's a very fun archetype nevertheless. And uh, seeing as it uh, did quite well at the Hackster tournament, it could be like a fluke. <laughs> but uh, we're definitely going to try it out right now. So it is called Rhydon Mill. I don't know if you guys play Toxtricity Mill. Toxtricity Mill works on the same principle using Alolan Muck with the ability to discard items from the opponent's deck while relying on Doxtricity and the Glimwood Tangle. Nowadays, you just rely on the Rhydon, and Rhydon can use the Dirty Works to just be able to discard five cards instantly. I wonder if the Lieutenant Search and the Double Giovanni's Exile works into like discarding 10 cards, but I don't think so. I, I am pretty positive that is not the case. We'll see, Lieutenant Search is nice. You can use Marty and Giovanni's Exile at the same time, which is awesome. We're gonna go first. Hopefully that works out so we can have a Rhydon by turn two. We start with Mew. Mew is also great to protect our bench from damage, damage spread Pokemon. For instance, Tag Bolt, GX or Vam Shot. So we'll see. We're up against ADP. Not the best Pokemon to be up against for sure. Slapping this down, slapping that down, slapping this down. Putting the opponent in a confused situation. And we are going to go with Quick Ball. Instantly gonna go for the Dene. We have lots of the Dene's to work with. We even have Zations which can draw us cards on the beginning of the turn. Not gonna do that just yet. We do have multiple uh, Marnies to work with. So this is fine. We just need to set up as much Pokemon as possible. So another Curse Shovel. Not gonna matter too much here. Our hand is pretty terrible to be honest. 
If only we would have drawn into a supporter. Like, if we draw into like one quick ball, we're off once again. If we draw into Dedane, it's the same story. If we draw into... Yeah, he's already confused, so that is already very funny. So, you try to confuse while using Marty, and now I understand the loop here. So, you can uh, make sure that your Rhydon survives twice, and you can go from there. I wonder if the opponent will play Marty. If he does, that will be awesome for us. If he doesn't, we'll see. Okay, it's a research, going crazy, uh, getting energies in the discard pile. This list is running Turbo Patch. Maybe he has Metal Saucer and Energy Switch, but either way, this guy is still confused, so he will need to get it out of the active position, which is totally awesome for us. We can already use uh, the Giovanni's Exile to discard two bench Pokemon that have no damage counters on them, which is probably going to be the Danny on something else. Now the Danny is popping up. Energy Switch in the discard pile, three Metal Energies as well, so he's probably going to be using Metal Saucers on that Zacian uh, very, very shortly. The good news is he's already running very deeply into his deck, so that means uh, you just need to make sure that this Arceus, Palkia and Dialga stays confused so he cannot use uh, the, ulta, the ulta creation anyhow. So right now he will need to find like two switches, there's already one in his discard pile. I know our hand is ridiculously bad. Another quick ball, he could resort to Crobat, drawing himself like uh, two cards. So he can maybe have like Saucer and Energy Switch. And then just go crazy with Ultra Creation and then <laughs> flipping a coin because he's confused. Very, very funky uh, tool card, right? Uh, item card right here. Or you can just rely on uh, the uh, Intrepid Sword. That's also a nice option for the opponent. Can I promise you guys we will win? Against ADP, it's always very scary. Very, very scary indeed. The good news is there's already like one switch in his discard pile. I haven't seen any saucers just yet. I wonder if he's gonna resort to. Uh, the Intrepid Sword. We already have like only one ride on and this is also not gonna matter too much because the opponent can just uh, go crazy and knock out three Pokemon and that's why these decks probably don't work against ADP. Okay, we have a Capture Energy. A Capture Energy. Are we gonna use it? I guess so. <laughs> sure. Capture Energy on the Mew so we can retreat it. Could be a nice option. What are we gonna bring to the table? Another Rhyhorn or, yeah, Zacian for sure, because our hand is actually very, very bad. Uh, he might actually do some crazy funky stuff, but for now, let's go with Intrepid Sword, drawing herself out of this nasty situation. We're gonna use Giovanni's Exile and then go for Quick Ball to get rid of another two prize Pokemon, and we should be okay by that point. And then we're gonna try and discard some cards from the opponent. I wonder if it's gonna be enough against ADP. It's very scary, he can now have like double switch in hand. Even though he only has three switches left in his deck, yeah, the air balloon is gonna help out a ton. He can air balloon and he puts it on the Arceus Dalga Pelka. Maybe he's gonna go on the offensive with Zacian. Could be good for news for us. We already gotten rid of like one Lana's fishing rod, but we already have like one Yelgren left. He has. He can manually retreat with the air balloon. I wonder why he did not use the air balloon on Zacian. So that meant if he had a switch, he can switch into the Arceus Dalga Pelka. We'll see. He's still confused, so that's good news for us. Maybe he's just switching around. Okay, we have a ride on. We can retreat our Mew, which is awesome. We don't have a Giovanni's Exile, though. They have been put down to the bottom of the deck. We do have a little Muck, so at least we can go with Chat. And I don't think I will start attacking with ride on anytime soon, because we only discard the top card from the opponent's deck. Yeah, will he decide to just go crazy with Ultra Creation, flipping a coin? He could be flipping tails and then he slaps 30 damage to each tail. Oh, he has heads! Well, that is the most luckiest build I've seen so far. Sure, let's do that. Ta-ta-ta! Yo. Whoa! <laughs> this little muck is going crazy! Sure, okay. We evolve into that one. Yeah... I actually want to be using another Grimer so we are more aggressive. If we use, discard discard the top card of your opponent's deck. The top card is just not good enough for us for now. So I'm actually gonna slap down another Grimer. We already discarded like lots of these fellas, but you never know. Here comes the Intrepid Sword. We get a doll. Okay. We're gonna try to hit behind dolls while using Marnie and then using Giovanni's Exile. Hopefully that will be enough to last us through the game because he's taking two prize cards on this fella. Unless he like has boss's orders and a switch and another switch. He still needs double switch by the way. He's still confused. Even though he uses the Ultra Creation Jacks, ADP is a toxic deck. You know how that goes. Okay, there's a, a Zamazenta V popping up. 
only 22 cards left in the opponent's deck. I wish we would have been able to use Dirty Works this turn. Could have retreated and used it, but I want to save my Rhydon before we do anything about it. We do have Scoop Up Net, we can scoop up the Alola Muck, evolve into that Alola Muck, maybe set up a Doll and go from there. Or if we find Giovanni's Exile, we can get rid of these two, two prizers. Because he's still in a nasty situation. Okay, there's an energy switch that Zacian will be attacking very, very shortly. I wonder if he used Metal Saucer or not. Still needs one energy. Okay, there's a Marnie, which is good for us. This hand was actually not good. We need to find like a supporter like Giovanni's Exile and then we can go crazy. Okay, there's Giovanni's Exile and double scoop up net. Our two prizes will disappear. So hopefully it'll be worth it. He only has 19 cards left in the deck. And this guy is just using Intrepid Sword. Very, very good news for us. That confusion just so, so powerful. Yellhorn for the win. So for now, we're going to be using the scoop up net. I'm going to get rid of this fella. We're going to be using the Alolan Muck once again. I wonder if he's going to have some more item cards in there. Uh, yeah, for sure. We want to check it out. One, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! Look at that. Milling like crazy. Then we're slapping down a Rhyhorn. We're going to retreat physically to this fella, to the Rhydon. Next up, we're going to go for Giovanni's Exile. We're going to get rid of our two Pokemon that we don't want uh, the opponent gusting up. And now we have room for like another uh, Grimer, I guess. And we can evolve again sooner or later. We can also scoop up. Uh, might as well scoop up right here. This fella. And next turn, we do have two a little mugs to go crazy. I wonder how, if he has any more uh, stuff to work with. So a little milling it out. Lots of supporters in there. He still has access to like turbo patches. He only has five cards left in the deck. If he knocks us out, there's two of them going down the drain. And then we have two mugs. Will that be enough? He still needs to draw like uh, at least one more card to uh, um, be safe and sound. Hopefully we draw into something like a quick ball. That would be like fantastic. We do have two Alola mugs. It's not mattering too much because we can only use one. But having these two in the hand, that means we can go for quick ball and some... Oh, Marnie. Marnie's busted. Oh yeah, he uh, fills up his uh, deck once again, which is annoying. Okay, we have a Crobat. We have a Marnie as well, which is uh, actually not bad. We're going to quick ball away the Grimer, set ourselves up with something else. And go crazy from there on out. Yeah. Two cards go down the drain. So we need to find Giovanni's Exile right away. That is our win con right now. We need to use Giovanni's Exile. And we need to find a twin energy. So we can use the attack of a Rhydon. So we need Rhydon, twin energy. We actually need a lot of stuff. I wonder if we're going to be able to get it. Okay. Crobat will be need to be slapped down on the bench. In combination with the Dene. Okay, they just concede. We could have used like uh, Mewtwo, scoop up. We can actually put a, uh, the uh, uh, Giovanni's Exile on top, then go for Crobat. They just concede from the spot. Look at this deck go. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the content. Just winning against ADP just because this deck is funky. I thought we had a terrible matchup against it. We proved them wrong because if you confuse somebody, they are uh, very much stuck in the act. I still think the opponent needed to put that air balloon on something like a Zacian. To put himself in a better scenario. I love the fact we're winning against ADP with a one prize deck. The Lily's Poké Dolls didn't even need them because a little monk just went crazy and discarded so many item cards. It's insane. Okay, what do we see up next is Warrior X60, our opponent. We'll see what the opponent brings to the table. Hopefully not an ADP this time. You're having a better matchup against anything other than ADP. The Giovanni's Exile is very awesome because you can just uh, safely rely on the support of these... Uh, Two prize Pokemon without having to worry about them at all. Very good hands, two quick balls, a twin energy and a Dedene. Couldn't ask for a better start. And also this little uh, Grimer can draw two cards. Don't uh, sleep on that for sure. Great ball, we're up against Eternatus VMAX. Probably one of the best decks in the format. Will this deck be able to do anything? We'll see, but Eternatus also draws a lot of cards. Okay, he's getting rid of the black market for sure. He's already seeing a Galol and Grimer, so this uh, opponent is uh, re acknowledging the fact that we're not taking any prize cards. Crobat drawing two cards. The opponent still has 42 cards left in their deck. Okay, two returners pop up. Hopefully they whiff. Yeah, they whiff on the energy, so that's even more ridiculous. Uh, we're going to go with the Danny straight from the bat, so we're actually going to go with Quick Ball. Putting herself right on. Yeah. Right on slap attachment here and another Pokemon because he still doesn't have an energy. I think we should go for Grimers instead. How many uh, a little mucks in here? Three. That's fantastic. 
Slapping these down, slapping the Denny down. Let's cube. Don't need to rely on Trapasaur. We're gonna rely on Collect instead. Slapping this down, and the Giovanni's Exile will be necessary for next turn, I assume. Let's draw some more cards. Collect. Thank you. Two. Okay, we have a little Spooky Doll as a little pivot. And we have two Rhydons next turn as well. We just need to find something like another Giovanni's Exile to get rid of the Dennis on the bench. That would be awesome, right? Okay, we actually don't need anything else. Although, getting Grimers evolved into Alolan Muck is very, very busted. We also have a scoop on that, so we can attack with Ride on this turn. Wonder if he's gonna go after the Dennis. Either way, we only have gonna have one Dennis in play anyhow. So there's the Hoopa. Is Hoopa going to be his main attacker? Okay, he's still uh, doing probably nothing. So we have Ride on from the bat. We have another Ride on from the bat. We are going to be scooping up this Grimer. Ta -ta. I don't know if we're gonna be drawing into Giovanni's Exile or not. But just in case, let's do this. Let's get rid of this Dedene. Only this Dedene. Sure. Then we're gonna be slapping down another Dedene. Is that gonna be... Then we have three Rhydons to work with. Probably gonna be attacking any, any every turn anytime soon. So we're gonna be not slapping down the doll, but gonna go crazy because we already have established one Rhydon anyhow. All right, this is actually looking pretty good. We have a, a little muck to start doing some crazy nasty stuff. Let's see here. How many items do we find? Zero? What? Okay, the RNG luck is not with us, but we do have dirty work being able to discard the top five cards of the opponent's deck. 28 cards left. Opponent will start attacking with the turn this very, very shortly. We do have another Dedane, so we're probably going to be drawing into another Giovanni's Exile. If not, we can rely on Scoop Up Net. Mewtwo combos, it is still fine. A turn is going to be going on the offensive. The Marnie is... I think it's pretty okay if we draw into Quick Ball and an Energy. That would be awesome. Ta -ta! Okay, this is bad. Bad news. We can Scoop Up Muck and just try to use the Muck once again. Also, not seeing... Uh, <laughs> We are not seeing any supporters whatsoever. So, on that department, a lot of muck, you are up. Hey, that even rhymes. Oh, okay, here's the quick ball. So, first things first, let's just uh, put the opponent in a confusion situation. Next up, we're gonna be using quick ball. Ta -ta! We're gonna be drawing into maybe Crobat or no, another Dedene. We do have one Giovanni's Exile still left in the deck, as well as Mewtwo is in there as well, as well as Scoop Up Net. So I am opted to go for the Dedene instead. Mm, yeah, opted to go for the Dedene instead. So what we are gonna do, we're gonna, we can also Marnie the opponent so he doesn't have like an answer for everything. So we're not gonna be using Giovanni's Exile just yet, just gonna be using the Scoop Up. We still have one Giovanni's Exile left, so we're gonna be promoting Rhydon, putting this here, evolving that. Come on, have a little bit of more luck in the side, let's go! One, two, three, that's better, that's like half of them. He has hammers. This fella is running hammers. Let's go! The Danes, they will disappear very shortly, but now... We have the Twin Energy, we even have the Curse Shovel, we have another uh, Rhydon, it is looking pretty fine. Didn't find the Marnie though, so that's the only bad thing about this. Dirty Works! Only one? Okay, we should have used Giovanni's Exile here. Okay, now I get it. Okay, I get it. He's still confused, but he has Dark City, so the basic Pokemon have no retreat. Okay, fine. We should have played that out differently. We should have played like Giovanni's Exile straight from the bat, then discard the top five cards. Yeah, but we do have Crobat, so if we, even if we get knocked out, he he will be discarded like two cards. Ah, it's so bad. We definitely should have not discarded this Giovanni's Exile. Also, because we now have a terrible hand that is unworkable, he could still try to go with boss's orders and go after the Dennis instead. We definitely need to find Giovanni's Exile ASAP. Maybe we top deck it, maybe we have Scoop Up that Mewtwo. Pierce, that means he can find himself a darkness type. Oh, hiding dark energy. Cool, he can just attach it to the Hoopa. Oh, okay, he's just set, setting up another Eternus. This guy is confused though. Will he be able to attack? He is able to attack. Whoa, they go truly confusing. So that is very, very ridiculous. That leaves ourselves up with another Rhydon as well as Crobat. And uh, we should be okay by then. 
Okay, twin energy straight from the bat, and we're just gonna slap down the Crobat here. Drawing a couple of cards. We Giovanni's Exile coming just in time. Let's go with the, the Muck first. Ta-ta! Yeah, we're gonna discard. Nothing! Again, nothing. Insane. We're gonna be using Giovanni's Exile. We're gonna get rid of the Crobat as well as the Dedene. Uh, do we slap down Station? Probably not. Just slapping down this first so we can draw cards the following turn. Putting them to a confusion status once again, then go for Zation. Okay, let's go. Dirty Works. Bam. Our Dirty Works from next turn should have already discarded five cards. So in that department, we actually misplayed a little bit, but the deck is legit. You can actually get somewhere very fast. He also has some luck with coin flip, so at least he has that going for him. He can set up another uh, Eternus on the bench so he can retreat this one. He can attack with the Spirit Tombs if need be. Seven cards in the opponent's hand. Still confused. Okay, now they just slapped themselves in the confusion. So at least that is very, very awesome to hear. We can set up a Zation. Will that set us up for the game though? If we draw cards, I think so. We just need to find like scoop up nets to win this game. So we can, yo. Yeah, discarding one card is not gonna matter. We just need to like use uh, the combination between Lieutenant Search like Giovanni's Exile and stuff. Even if we discarded one card, it would have not mattered. Right now, we need to do a lot of stuff, like Lieutenant Surge, Marnie, and all that good stuff. Is he gonna go do it again? <laughs> Man, we had two Yalgrins left, so that's fine either way. Uh, we have nothing to work with, unfortunately. We can discard one more card. And then hope there's a lot of item cards in the opponent's hand. He already has like a lot of damage on him. So we're gonna get rid of one yell horn. See what we are have. Yeah, we have the Mewtwo already. We need to find that scoop up net ASAP so we can start uh, reusing Giovanni's exile. Otherwise, we're not gonna get there at all. We can also not retreat, unfortunately. Even if we get the Giovanni's exile. We still need to be setting some stuff up. Maybe he's just attaching here and manually retreating, which is probably going to be the case. Maybe we just... Dark City just is not good here <laughs> because he has Dark City. Lieutenant Surge again. If we discard one card, are we going to get closer? Probably. We're going to get closer anyhow. So let's discard one card. It could be crucial, right? Imagine if we used like uh, the correct play with Giovanni's Exile. We would have already won by this point. Because we would have already discarded like four cards. So in our head we won. I know we played it out very strangely. But this deck I am able to showcase that it is legit. Okay just knock us out. We discard two cards. We per try to get Giovanni's Exile up and rolling with the Mewtwo. If we are able to get something like Marnie. So we can like Lieutenant Search, Mewtwo, Marnie. We'll see. This guy sees the discard pile. It only takes one prize card. Two cards go down the discard pile. We have a Grimer which can draw cards. Maybe this is still working out though. Okay, we have a capture energy. Not that that's gonna matter anytime soon. We're gonna boss as well as this guy. We are going to capture and do we have Rhyhorns left? No Rhyhorns left in the house. Sure. We're gonna be going with Mewtwo. Trying to go for... Now we need to find like that tool card that... No, they just concede! They just concede! Oh boy, we are wrecking the house with this funny deck. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video with the um, yeah, Ride on Mill. It is legit. Try it out for yourself. So much fun. I reckon you that. So uh, very huge shout out to the person that played this in the Hackster TCG tournament. If you enjoyed this video you want to see more content, be sure to subscribe. If you like what you saw, be sure to demolish the like button. I upload videos on Almost every single day so if you are not subscribed just yet definitely do so and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video very shortly thanks again for tuning in today and i wish you all a very fantastic rest of your day check out my sponsors potownstore.com as well as card market and card market is actually one of the the per perfect sponsors that give me like uh, free money to give away to you fellas so we can have here a coupon code for five euros believe it or not we're gonna be putting that on the screen very very shortly it's gonna be uh, right above my head right about now so uh, this is for five euros on cart market be sure to claim it if you're the person that claimed it let me know what you're gonna buy with it uh, cart market is a european platform to uh, buy physical uh, products of pokemon cards singles uh, 
etc. And you can also like sell them if you make your own account. So definitely check them out, cardmarket.com. If you're looking for T-shirt Joko cards, Pokemon Store is the place for you. So they have everything all up on stock from the new set's Champions Path as well. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.